Yeah, Alright boys, boys, put me in my office. Put, put me in my office. Oh, no. Nick in his office. Yeah, get yeah. in his office, come on. <laughs> What's good? Welcome back to Sad Men Reacts. Today you have myself, Josh, Vic and Harry reacting to the craziest things found by airport security. Did you know that my cousin once tried to bring a uh, water gun back from our, our holiday to Spain? In the bag it was in, I guess it didn't look like uh, a water gun. So the, the, all of the custom guys started shouting, pistola, 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 pistola. And they all went mental and like, grabbed the bag and everything. They see some bright was... yellow and blue water pistol. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Did he get it through? I didn't they no, I didn't they bend it anyway. I think they were pissed. <laughs> Craziest things found by airport security. 51 tropical fish. It's like the shop you went to, Vic, that was selling loads of fish. Yeah, <laughs> true. Maybe she'd been to Hong Kong. A woman was stopped in the Melbourne airport after her movements kept sounding rather runny. Security decided to physically inspect her with a more than careful pat down after they discovered a specially designed apron with multiple pockets to carry 15 bags of 51 different kinds of tropical fish. They're all alive. He's wearing them. A fish apron. Is that really worth it? Imagine Simon wearing that. 18 severed heads. Whoa. Sorry. In 2013, O'Hare International Airport discovered a shipment of 18 human heads. Oh, like what? real heads, not like real heads. What? Headlines were ablaze, raising questions as to where these heads were being sent and why. And where'd they get them from? What the fuck? Turns out they were a legitimate medical shipment, and due to a mix up of paperwork, got everybody quite fired up. Jesus. Medical shipment. <laughs> they were originally sent to a medical facility in Rome. Why are you sending 20 heads? And were heads? then returned to Chicago for disposal as part oh, of an okay. agreement. Medical. What? My other research. Cannonball. Okay. A diver had found himself a keepsake while exploring an 18th century shipwreck. It might be slightly over the baggage weight, I think. <laughs> <laughs> a coral covered cannonball was determined to be denied access onto an airplane due to its viable explosiveness. Do cannonballs explode? I guess maybe some did. I don't I thought know. Well, they were just a big, heavy ball yeah, that just hit not... something. I didn't, I didn't think it had Thing explosive of metal, yeah. damage. Yeah. Oh, they're meant to explode. Yeah. You always get explosions when you see them in the film. Yeah, I thought that was in I films. Thought... Yeah, but I feel like if, if, if they need to, right? Yeah, all right, boys, boys, put me in my office. Put, put me in my oh, office. No. Vic in his office. Yeah, get yeah. in the office. Come on. <laughs> Hey, can go. I be working in the background? I've got my green screen today. You put me in the background working. Oh, Toby's in the office too, but he's in the next cubicle along. Okay. Um, so there's a girl in the background. You should chat to her sometimes. Josh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> quick, the, boss is, the boss is coming quick, man. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. So on some of them, they did have... Um, Gunpowder gun inside them, and they were designed so, yeah. to. Yeah, they used. Inside them, they had fuses. They had iron support plugs. Mad. Um. Yeah, and they and they had shots. They had like they had ones that exploded and sent lead ball shrapnel everywhere. They weren't playing like, like on those pirate ships. Kind of they weren't playing explosive. at all. They weren't. They weren't playing games. So yeah, um, they did explode on impact sometimes. But there you go. The more you know. Okay. Lunch break. <laughs> the entire baggage area and three flights were to be evacuated, delaying nearly human. 300 I passengers. I hope he got his board in the end. Dead snakes. <laughs> snakes on a plane! I'm sick of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. In 2007, the Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport encountered a man flying in from South Korea who had 30 dead venomous snakes packed in jars and bottles that he checked into his luggage. I think they were dead before they died in the suitcase. There has been no official report as to what the passenger planned on doing with these dead creatures. Sick. Lipstick stun gun. Oh, a shit. first oh, foreign whoa. airport in Burlington, Vermont, when an unusual lipstick case was found in a woman's carry on bag. Like for, With for careful examination, it was discovered that the lipstick was a 350,000 volt stun gun. Jesus Christ. Unless she was trying to take the plane. Wait, wait, wait pause. 350,000 volts. That's a lot of volts, that is. How much is like a normal stun thing? <laughs> Vic. Vic. <laughs> Put me in my office. <laughs> 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 I live here now. 
Uh, a standard stun gun is apparently only 50,000. Oh, you'll get eight, seven times. Times. I think that's cap. I think that's... Is that cap? Yeah, or is cap. that just... Or is that, or is that like... This is outrageous. custom. Wait, so how much is a taser? 50,000 volts, apparently. So I don't know how that could be 350,000. Yeah, uh, more powerful tasers, I guess. That's crazy. You 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 gotta get uh, enough headshots with it, and then you get. Wait, yeah. hold up, hold up! Stun guns and voltage myth. Oh, here we go. Oh. Oh. You shopped around for stun guns. You've seen plenty of extremely high voltage claims, possibly up to 100 million volts. These astronomical figures sound impressive, but the truth is, when it comes to stun guns, claims like these are not only wildly misleading but also physically impossible. In fact, 30,000 is the maximum voltage that could jump across stun gun contact spaced one centimeter apart. Any larger voltage claim violates the laws of physics. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. So she got a refund on her stun gun, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. They are capping. I'm detecting high levels of cap. <laughs> Wheel of pain. In 2012, a frightening weapon known as a Wheel of Pain was discovered through the screening process of the Newark airport. That looks badass, that does. That's some anime shit, bro. Six razor-sharp blades that can supposedly decapitate a person in one what? swift throw. No, no, no. That's all I was asking. More cap! <laughs> no, we're not going to your office again. <laughs> Tiger Cub. In 2010, at Bangkok International Airport in Thailand, Aww. A sedated oh, two month old tiger what? cub was found yeah. in a suitcase Bro, among a stuffed teddy. animals. The 31 year old woman who attempted this crime was hoping to collect 2,000 pounds on the Iranian black market. Tell me she got caught. Instead, she was arrested. Yeah, dub. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and the little tiger was sent to a wildlife refuge. That's so messed up, man. Cocaine cast. No. Oh. <laughs> Here's a drug smuggler that legitimately broke his leg and built his cast out of cocaine. That is clever. That is clever. <laughs> Trying to pass through Barcelona's El Prat airport after arriving from Santiago, Chile, he did not get very far. It's uncertain if the drug smuggler broke his leg specifically for this task or if it was accidental. But how did they catch him? What was that? I don't know. Sniffer dogs, I reckon. Mm. But the cast was entirely made out of 11 pounds of compressed crack. Compressed a brick. Uh, <laughs> just, just a oh brick. My God. The plan might have worked if he wasn't so greedy since officials found additional cocaine in his luggage. Oh, wow. You fucking dummy. What, like, oh, wow. So he known. went to all that effort oh. to then put it in the obvious place as well. <laughs> to have on it. Oh, my God. He actually would have away with it. Uh, so, with so what is the luggage cocaine that baited him out? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 luggage cocaine baited him out. Oh, I was like, hang on a second. It, this this <laughs> car looks suspicious, mate. <laughs> hang on a minute. You think you've got sniffer dogs to get, try and find more on him. Yeah. Just yeah. not sniffing his leg. They're like, hey, hang on a minute. <laughs> 200 tarantulas. It must have been a creepy day at Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam it's when a couple airport, suitcase you know, was confiscated that. after discovering 200 yeah. rare and many unknown tarantulas as well as grasshoppers, Some millipedes, and crickets. <laughs> they were Why? handed over to Dutch Animal Welfare. The German couple that tried to smuggle them back home after a trip to South America faced criminal charges. Well, so they were just like rare species, they just took them. Yeah, I guess you could probably sell them. Or breed them. Monkeys in man's underwear. In 2002, an exotic bird had flown out of a man's bag in Los Angeles International Airport. The man had been returning from a trip from Thailand. Additionally, 50 rare orchids were also found in the bag. Officials asked if he had anything else illegal to declare, and he blatantly huh? admitted to having a pair of monkeys what? in his underwear. Oh, yep. what? Two very young pygmy monkeys, an endangered species in the U.S., were removed from his undergarments and delivered safely to the Los Angeles Zoo. Sorry? The man, however, received a 57-day jail sentence. Wait, hold up. Monkeys in his underwear? <laughs> Why has man got two monkeys That's in his That's a risky, pants? risky, oh. risky flight that is. One of them wakes up halfway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I didn't expect many of those things at all, so... Yeah, that was, that was more interesting than I thought it was going to be.